the head of one of the enemy tribes that the children of Israel fought against during the reign of Saul. According to the Quran, the children of Israel asked a prophet after Moses to appoint a king to lead them to war in the way of Allah. And the prophet informed them that Talut had been chosen as king, but the children of Israel objected to his kingship. Then their prophet informed them that Allah had made Talut superior to them and had increased his knowledge and strength, and that the most prominent sign of his kingship was the return of the Ark of the Covenant from the hands of the enemy. The name of this person, who is called Kalut in the Quran al karim appears as Goliath in the Old Testament. Goliath, who was from the Philistine tribe and from the city of Gath, was depicted as a giant because of his large size, and it was believed that he was a remnant of the race called Rephaim, which was famous for its gigantic size. Goliath's height was 2 meters 93 centimeters, according to the Hebrew Testament and 2 meters 03 centimeters according to the Greek translation of the Testament and the Jewish historian F. Josephus. The armor he wore weighed 5,000 shekels of bronze, about 60 kilograms, and the iron at the end of his spear weighed 600 shekels, about 8 kilograms. Goliath was a formidable warrior who was part of the Philisti army that invaded the land of Israel during the reign of King Saul. When the Israelite army and the Philistine army came face to face, he challenged the Israelite army with a bronze cap on his head, scaled armor on his head, bronze armor on his thighs, a bronze pike between his shoulders, and a spear in his hand. The challenge lasted for 40 days, but no one from the Israelite army dared to face him. When the young David, who had come to the headquarters to visit his older brothers who had joined the army, saw the situation. He wanted to confront Goliath. This is how the story is told. In Talut's army, there was a young man who was 18 years old. His name was David. David had joined the army of Talut, along with his father and 13 brothers. He was very brave, and also very skillful in throwing stones with a slingshot. Because David's voice was very loud and beautiful. He was brought to the presence of Talut. Talut also made him his friend. At that time, David joined the army that Talut was preparing against the tribe of Amalika. Allah had informed that prophet that David would kill Goliath, and he took David with him. On the way, three stones spoke and said to David, Take us, you will kill Goliath with us. On the other hand, Talut had promised, Whoever kills Goliath, I will give him my daughter. Finally, the faithful soldiers of Talut, 313 in number, faced the enemy. When the two armies met, Goliath asked for a warrior to represent his army. David appeared before him. Everyone was surprised. Because Goliath was a big-faced and very strong man. So Goliath despised David, trusting in his strength. O oh, wretch, is it you who have come against me? Tell me, why have you come? David said, I have come to fight you. When Goliath mocked him, David took out his sling, placed his famous stone and threw it at Goliath. The stone hit Goliath right in the forehead and he fell off his horse and died. David cut off his head with a sword. There is conflicting information about the killing of Goliath in the Old Testament. In one place, it is stated that Goliath was killed by David, while in another place, it is reported that Elhanan killed Goliath of Gath. On the other hand, in the Hebrew version of the Bible and its translations into Western languages, it is stated that Elhanan of Bethlehem shot Goliath of Gath, while in another translation, it is stated that Elhanan of Bethlehem shot the brother of Goliath of Gath. This last statement is also found elsewhere in the Old Testament. While the Old Testament presents Goliath as a Philisti Pelishti, Pelishtim, Islamic sources describe him as a Babylonian, or a descendant of the tribes of Ad or Samud, and even say that he was the king of the Berbers. There are several narratives in the history books about the identity of Kalut and his struggle with David, which are similar to 
the parable in the Old Testament.